Hello grade 12 and welcome again to our physics class and this will be our third week of this second semester. Okay, so let's continue our discussion about um, the static electricity. Okay, we will now move to another topic which is about the electric field and electric force. Okay, so I will share my screen. So we have this one. Uh, yeah. Okay, so we have the electric field and electric force. Now, how this one is related to our last topic, okay, you will find out later. So electricity is a phenomenon that pertains to the flow of charge, right? So when we say electricity, this one is just like a flowing charge. So what are those charges again? We have two charges. We have the electrons and the protons, right? So those are what we call the charges. And we are using electricity, okay? We are using this one almost every time. Oh yeah, no, it's not almost, it's every time. We are using this one to, okay, those charges to power up a lot of things, right? So we can, uh, use television, we can use cell phones, light bulbs, and etc. That, you know, that is uh, no, no needed electricity, okay? So the question is, how can we understand what is happening inside those flow of charges, okay? So paano malalaman kung gaano ba kalakas, kung gaano ba kabilis? Okay, yung mga electric charges na dumadaan sa bawat wires ng ating mga kuryente. Okay, so that is what will be the center of our discussion now. Okay, so let us just recall that the electric field is defined by the equation just like this below. But the thing is how they actually, you know, find this formula. Okay, so this one is related to, this one's related to the Coulomb's law. Okay, packet, so I will show you how. So for example, we have here, okay, remember that our Coulomb's law is defined as just like this. F will be the force, right? So the force is equivalent to the constant K multiplied by the quantity one, or those are the, um, those are the magnitude of the charges, right? All over R squared, or the distance between those two charges. So that this one is the Coulomb's law. Now, how can I relate this one here? As you can see, we have here letter E, and this one is for the electric field, okay? Electric field. And the answer for an electric field includes this symbol, Newton per Coulomb, okay? So, ang sagot natin sa bawat electric field is Newton per Coulomb. Why? It's because we have the force, which is the Newton, and the quantity or the magnitude is Coulomb. So we have N over C. Okay. Since we have here in our formula, we have the F. So we will put the value of F here in the formula. So we have E and the F is we have K Q1, Q2, all over R squared, over, we have the another Q there, okay? So as you can see, we have three Qs. We can, wait, I need to change the color. Yeah. We can now, um, we can now cancel the two K 
cubes. Okay? So, ang mag na lang is k, q1, or simply q, over r squared. Okay? Kaya nakuha yung formula na yan. That is how they formulate. Okay? Or para nakupang nakuha yung formula ng electric field. Okay? So we have K multiplied by the Q or the amount of charge all over the distance of those two charges. Okay? Remember this one. This will be the electric field. Electric field. Okay? Next. So this equation only gives us the electric field of A single source of charge, right? It's because we only have two charges that, that are using in the problem. But in reality, we deal with charges which are distributed in an area or space. So if we are not talking about only one, three or more, okay, we can use this formula also. Okay, so we have D, oh, this one, we can use also this one, okay, in three or more. An electric field is indicated by electric field lines. That's why it's called electric field. Ano ba yung field na yun? So doon, doon siya, doon yung mga charges dumadaan. That's the field. Okay, so we have the, what we call the electric field lines. As you can see here, we have negative. And negative is an electron. Okay, napapasok yung dito, yung kanyang arrow is papasok. So, ang electron is always receiving. Okay? This one is always receiving. This one is always receiving. Okay? And then, as you can see here, the proton is always giving. So, hindi mababago yan. Yung electron natin, okay, yung electron natin is always receiving. And our proton is always giving. Okay? Okay. And so we have here this diagram just to see kung paano nag-combine yung mga charges. Okay? Okay. So again, this is the um, diagram on how electric field or the charges travels to each other. Okay? Again, ang electrons, they are always receiving and the protons are always uh, giving. Okay? So... This part is the spaces between the electric field line describe the strength of the electric field. So ito yung part na sinosolve natin. Eh, gaano ba siya kalakas? Gaano ba siya kabilis? That is the uh, problem that we need to solve. Okay, kung paano sila magkakombine in a way na makukuha yung lakas ng dalawa. Okay? So consider the electric field between two parallel plates. Okay, so what can you say about the arrows? Yung arrow natin ay isa lang yung direction. Ibig sabihin, doon papunta yung ating uh, what, what we call the force. Okay, yung force na is always there. Isa lang yung kanyang line. Okay, now if we have an electron here moving at an initial velocity that enters the electric field, where do you think will it go? Saan kaya siya pupunta? Is it going straight. Remember, this one is an electron. Okay, an electron is always receiving. So, if this is an electric charge or electric field, an electric field has two charges, right? Ito yung combination ng proton and electron ito nasa gitna nila. So, saan kaya, kung dadaan ang isang electron dyan, saan kaya siya pupunta? Okay? So suppose we have here the diagram, the electron followed the blue dot line as it entered the region of the uniform electric field. It's because on this part, it's giving, right? It's giving. So andito yung part ng proton. So since 
proton and electron are attracted to each other, so pupunta si electron doon. Okay? It's always going up. Why? So for example, we have here a <clears throat> magnitude of the force being experienced by the electron in the figure as it travels between the parallel plates if the electric field has a value of 14 N over C. So this one is the first example on how to solve electric field, okay? What is the magnitude of the force being experienced by an electron or by this electron in the figure as it travels between the parallel plates if the electric field has a value of 14 N over C or Newton over the Coulomb? Okay, so as you can see here, we only have one given. Okay, so I will give you another set of constants, okay? Another set of constants here. If we don't have, okay, a given just like this one, we only have one electron. And one electron, one electron charge is equivalent to, okay, this one is equivalent to 1.6, by 10 raised to negative 19 C. This is the equivalent of this one. Okay, so since well, we don't have the exact uh, magnitude or ma uh, the exact value of this electron, so we will use 1.6 by 10 raised to negative 9 C, since we have only one electron, okay? So how to solve for this one? Let us use the formula. We have the formula. Okay, I will share the screen with my friend. Let me reduce to 14 N C. Okay, we'll stop sharing for this one. Again, we have the yeah. We have the electric field that is equivalent to fourteen and over C. Okay, and we have the value of one electron or electron charge, which is 1.6 by 10 raised to negative 19 C. So dito, ang gagawin natin is we need to find ang hinahanap natin is force, correct? It's because of the problem, we need to find the, magn the magnitude of the electric force. So force ang hahanapin natin. So in our formula, we have E is equal to F over Q since we have E, so I will just put 14 and C equals the F, which is now wala, over the Q is yung ating 1.6 by 10 raised to negative 19 C. Okay, now how to solve for this one? Para may iwan si F dito, we need to do cross multiplication. Okay, cross multiplication. So, ang mag magiging mapupunta sa kabila is magiging F A equals 14 NC or N over C multiplied by 1.6 by 10 raised to negative 19 C. We have here over C, di ba? We have your over C and then yung, nasa, yung C nasa, nasa taas. So we can cancel those two. So ang matitira na lang ay si N. So we have the final answer here, or not the final answer, final solution. 14N multiplied by 1.6 by 10 raised to negative 19 
And how can we multiply a scientific notation? So ang gagawin muna natin is gawin natin scientific notation C14. Okay, and this one will become 1.4 by 10 raised to negative, no, it's neg not negative, 1. Okay, that's positive 1 multiplied by 1.6 by 10, negative 19. This one is N. Okay, let's move here. Yeah. And the next one, since we, we have now the 1.4 by 10 raised to 1, now how to multiply scientific notations? Okay, ang unang gagawin natin is, para mas maintindihan ninyo, I will put it like this. I will copy 1.4, and then I will copy 1.6, and I will copy 10 raised to 1, I will copy 10 raised to negative 90. Okay? So pinagsama ko lang yung mga magkakapareho. So I do the combined like terms. Okay? So what is 1.4 times 1.6? That is 22.4 multiplied by, okay. If you can remember the loss of exponent in, the, in your grade 9 math. So if we have multiplication, I will just copy this one and then sa taas magiging plus. Correct? So what is 1 plus negative 19? And that will be negative 18. Correct? Equals. This is undone. Okay, equals. And then this one, since we have here a 22, and hindi siya, uh, wala siya doon sa loss ng mga scientific notation, so we need to move this decimal point here, another one, so that will be positive one. So it will become... So it's positive one, so plus one yen. So we have here 2.24 by negative 18 plus one is negative 17 Newton. So this will become the force that we are finding, okay? This is the force that we need to find. Again, just remember, kung wala tayong given ni na magnitude or value ng isang electron or isang charge, remember, one electron is equivalent to this one. 1.6 by 10 raised to negative 19 C. Okay? So that's, that will be the equivalent. Correct? Okay, another, another example para mas maintindihan nyo pa. Kind of example, I will share the screen, this one. Okay. So next one. So here, medyo may mali dito. This must be 17, huh? This is negative 18, must be negative 17. As you can see in our um, solution. Now, this one, second one. A charge of three, okay, the symbol, the symbol of this one, oops, sorry, and the symbol for well, this one, this is what we call micro, okay, and on one micro, on one micro coulombs okay or sometimes they put one m coulombs it's as simple also as micro so on one coulomb one micro coulomb is equivalent to 0 0.0000001 0 c okay or in scientific notation we have 1 times 10 raised to negative 6 coulomb. 
Okay? So, if you can see, or kapag may nakita kayong ganitong symbol, ayan, yung kanyang symbol, or M, nakasama nung C, that is micro. And you need to put this equivalent scientific notation for that one. Okay? Ayan. It's used to test the electric field of a central charge of 6C. Okay? So, this one is just like, kumbaga, parang palabok lang, halo-halo lang. So ito, hindi natin siya papansinin. It's just explaining about the charge or the central charge of the electric field. Okay? That causes a force of 800 Newton. So this will be our second given. First given and the second given. Okay? Now, what is the magnitude of the electric field? So if we have the formula of E, force over Q, this will be the electric field. Tama? Ito yung hinahanap natin. So we have the force, we have the force as, ito yung force natin, 800 Newton. Why? Di ba ang force is equivalent to Newton? Yun yung kanyang symbol, okay? So we have the upper part as 800 Newton. And the lower part will be the three micro. So I will multiply that one. So three times one is three. And then I will just put 10 raised to negative six C. Okay. And then solve for that one. Before we can solve for this one, we need to change 800 into its scientific notation kasi mata yung scientific notation sa baba. Okay, so I will change this one into 8.0 so kahit 8 lang yan times 10 raised to 2. Tama? That's N. All over 3 times 10 negative 6. Now, same process as multiplication kanina, magdi-divide lang tayo. So, what will be 8 divided by 3? 8 divided by 3, that is 2.66666, right? So, we can say 2.7. Okay, para ma mas madali, mag number tayo. 2.7 multiplied by... If we will do division, yung exponent natin, since they have the same base, yung exponents natin, we will just minus. So what is 2 minus negative 6? And that will give us positive 8. Okay? So we have 2.7 multiplied by 10 raised to 8 in our, uh, our symbol. Since wala namang na-cancel, so we have N over C. So this will be the answer for the electric field. Okay, so this will be the magnitude of the electric field. 2.7 by 10 raised to 8 Newton over the Coulombs. Okay, let's check if you are correct. Yes, we are correct. 2.7 by 10 raised to 8 and over C. Okay, so bali yung mga examples natin is paiba-iba ako ng mga given, right? Para makita nyo kung nawawala yung F, yun yung gagawin ninyo sa una. Pag nawawala si E, ito ang magagawin sa pangalawa. Okay? Okay, good. Another example. Para makakon kayo sa pang example or mga dalawa pa siguro. And, irisin ko lang muna ito. Ayan, para hindi sila magulong tingnan. Okay, so we have this another example. Calculate the electric force experienced by a proton that entered a uniform electric field. So dito, wala na naman tayong uh, 
wala na naman tayong at tawag dito, wala na naman tayong given na charge. So, ang nagamitin ulit natin ay si 1 point Okay, gawin na naman si one point. Okay, so ang gagamitin na naman natin is yung ating given kanina ng isang one charge is equivalent to sa so, pinipin ko. Ayan. One charge is equivalent to one oops, one by 10 raised to negative 6 coulombs. Okay, ito na yung magiging equivalent ng ating Q. I don't know, this one is for the micro. Pasensya, pasensya. Our Coulomb is 1.6 by 10 raised to negative 19 C. Okay? Again, pag wala tayong given na um, value ng charge, is we need to use this constant value of one charge. Okay? Mapa-electron man yan or mapa-proton. Kasi dito, kasi kanina diba, ang unang example is electron. Ito naman ay proton. It's either the two. So, ang one electron and one proton, iisa lang yung kanilang um, value. Okay? They will just uh, tawag dito, baka yung sila ng charge. Kung electron is negative, kung proton is positive. But still, we will use the absolute value. So, magiging positive pa rin siya every time. So we will use this one. Let's solve for this. So we have the formula E is equivalent to force over Q. Okay. Gagawin natin naman si force. Correct? So gagawin natin si force. Para mahanap si force is we will do E times Q or EQ. Tama? Yeah, so I'm take EQ. And then, what is our E? Yung E natin is already have. So we have 400 and over C multiplied by the Q, which is 1.6 by 10 raised to negative 19 C. Okay? So since meron tayong dalawang C, yung isa nasa pa ba, yung isa nasa taas, we can now cancel those two. So, matitara na lang dito is 400N multiplied by 1.6 by 10 raised to negative 90. Now, same process. We need to make this as a scientific notation. So, ang scientific notation ng 400 is 4 by 10 squared N, right? Multiplied by 1.6 by 10 negative 19. And next one. So magpumultiply na tayo. Um, combine like terms. So we will multiply this two. And we will multiply this two. Correct? Okay, so we have 4 times 1.6. 4 times 1.6. I will put the answer here. Okay, kung nasa dito, ha? Ayan. So, what is 4 times 1.6? 4 times, ano saan yung kwan ko? Kode ko ko. Wala na siya. 4 times 4.6, so gawa lang dito. 1.6 times 4 is 24, 4, 5, 6, so 6.4. So we have 6.4 by 10. They, are, they have the same base. And then kapag times, we will plus. Right? If we plus that in your exponents. So what is 2 plus negative 19? 2 plus negative 19 is negative 17. And our symbol is Newton. So this will now be the force in this problem. Okay? 
easy. So, ito yung pangalawang force na sinold natin. Okay? So, isa pa tayo sa electric field para dalawa sa force na examples at dalawa naman sa electric field examples. Okay? Next one. How about this one? A stationary negative 35 mc, ayan, may m na naman tayo, ibig sabihin, okay, yung m is micro. Ang micro, ito na talaga yung micro, ay 1 by 10 raised to negative 6. Okay? So magiging, if we will convert this one, it will become 35 times 10 raised to negative 6. Okay? Sir, but na wala po yung negative? Tandaan ninyo, ang charge is always the absolute value. Kapag absolute value is always positive. Okay? So, walang epekto yung negative na yan. Okay? It, it will just, uh, kumbaga, pinapakita lang niya na yung given natin is an electron. It's not a proton. Okay, kapag negative is electron, kapag positive, that is proton. So dito, ang given natin na charge is electron, kaya negative. Pero wala siyang bali doon sa ating solution. Okay? And this one, charge suddenly experienced a force of 5 newton. So another given. So this will be the... yung quantity natin, or yung Q, and then we have the Newton. Ang Newton is force, correct? So, ang force natin is Newton. Ah, Newton? Ang force natin is 5 5 Newton. Ayan. Okay? So, how much electric field was the charge exposed to? So, nawawala na naman si electric field. So, this will be the solution. We have here the formula E equals F over Q. And, and then if we will put those values up here, so magiging F natin is 5 Newton all over 35 times 10 raised to negative 6 C. Okay? Kung napapasin nyo, sa baba, is may, meron tayong 35. And that is not the part ng scientific notation. Diba? So, dapat meron lang tayo isang decimal point. So, we will move the decimal point from here to here. So, magkakaroon tayo ng plus. Ilang decimal point? Isa lang yung gumalaw. So, plus 1. So our final here is, I will also put this one in scientific notation, 5, 10 to 0, correct? Newton all over 3.5 by 10 raised to negative 5, correct? Okay. Equals, yeah. Combine like terms again, so we will just divide 5 and 3.5. And we have the answer there as, I will change the color para mas maganda. Ayan. So we have 5 divided by 3.5 is we have 1.427, something like that. So we have 43. So we have 1.43 multiplied by Itong dalawa naman, since we have division, so magma-minus tayo. What is 0 minus negative 5? So negative and the negative magiging plus, so magiging 0 plus 5. That's why we have 5. Okay? And we have N over C. So this will be the 
um, charge or the yeah the charge of the electric field. Ito na yung magiging sagot natin. A 1.43 by 10 raised to 5 and over C. Okay? Kung gusto niyo siyang going kung gusto niyo siyang going uh, cool number, this will become 1, 4, 3. That is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Itong zeros. So we have 143,000 and over C. Okay? These two answers are both correct. Okay, so those are the examples of how to solve the electric field and the electric force of each problem in electricity. Okay, so that will be the end of this uh, meeting and I will give your activity in your QSA. YouTube, And then I will send you the link and also the activity in the QSA. Okay, so see you again next time for our fourth week. See you, bye. Yeah, stop sharing, Connor.